What's going on guys? Hexa here with another episode of Skull of Heroes Slayer, and let's get right into it. Just as usual, thank you for being here, I appreciate you guys, and that's really all I have to say about that. Uh, that's Macbeth. <laughs> I'll take that to start things off. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to stick to it because I do not have a run request that uh, entails such strategies. I'm looking at all of them right now. Um, really want to get to one today because I did miss uh, one a day before and uh, I did Relic Ghoul yesterday but as I could not find the commenter that requested that even though I know someone did so apologies to that person I hope you still enjoyed it regardless um, but that's not gonna be a problem moving forward like if you request something I'm not gonna miss your comment and leave you out of the video because I do like to credit people who do run requests um, I I've started taking uh, screenshots ahead of time of uh like as soon as the run request happens i've started taking screenshots of it so i'm not gonna miss them anymore i do apologize for that just like i'll learn my lesson um so we'll just move forward with that in mind and uh yeah i apologize for the ones that i did uh not include in the video but it's not gonna happen anymore so i'm not gonna pick up the alchemist um i i've done a lot of alchemist runs recently although i just realized like i I realized it uh, after I had already recorded yesterday's episode, but like I, I did like two or three very close together ninja videos. But he, he did keep showing up, to be fair, especially at opportunities where I could actually take him. Like if a unique shows up early enough, usually I'm pretty on board to just take it because it's rare to find uniques early. But we'll put the ninja on a cooldown. Uh, I know like seeing the same skull over and over you know, not exactly entertaining to people. But at the same time, I would say Ninja kind of deserves it because he's one of those skulls, which, by the way, I include myself in what I'm about to say, that people look down on a lot, which is kind of deserved, but also not... He's not as bad as people think. Um, like, I included him in the lower half of my tier list, and I think I still stand by that. Although... I have seen some things recently that make me think he's maybe not as bad as I thought, at least. He's really good at utilizing certain things. Um, he's especially a good ability spammer, so if you have, like, offensive wheel, you can do a lot of really good things with Ninja. But, um, he's also really good at utilizing poison, especially, like, I don't know if he's any better than most skulls at utilizing it, because he, um... He does have the ability spam, but it's on a cooldown regardless. I don't know. I have to reconsider my opinion on him, but I do think he's a little better than I gave him credit in my tier list, at least. All right, so no uh, skull in here, unfortunately. So we're stuck with the Gravedigger for now, which is not something I plan on sticking to. Though it has been a while since I've done a magic video, so maybe I should do that. Um, force the path now. God, I'm really hoping I see a fucking uh, Masterpiece Princess Boxer clone stamp soon. I want to do one so fucking bad, man. I, re I re uh, refreshed this stop a million times and barely found anything. <laughs> I am willing to sell this. That won't get me there, though. I do kind of want the Facebook here, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see Facebook for free after this reward. He is a common, and you're really likely to see common rewards at this uh, pedestal over here. So maybe we'll see him. We'll see. Also, I should have maybe held off on doing that. Um, I want to try and kill him with Macbeth very quickly. Macbeth will obliterate this guy, by the way. Um, even this early in the game, Macbeth is still really, really good. Um... Uh, though I, they're disappearing at the worst moment. He's gonna ult. God damn it. Macbeth, why? All you had to do was stick around for a couple more seconds, man. Come on. But we'll still kill him here. Uh, is that gonna... I don't think that was blocked by the shield. It's hard to say. I should have faced the other way and did that, but it's fine. He's dead. Warrior's a little bit annoying pretty much whenever you find him. Oh, this could be good. This could be very good. I've been wanting to do a bomber run where I don't use Kaboom. Because um, I'm very actually... Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking it's actually... Like, he's he's not bad anymore, I don't... Like, I think maybe bomber is just good. Like, even without Kaboom. Though I'm don't, I don't know if I want risky upgrade. I think I would want the mini bombs, maybe. 
Though I think risky upgrades is the one that allows you to stay out longer, so maybe this is good. Because like I can just like run around as uh, bomber as much as I want. Though right now it's not doing anything, so we'll just not switch to bomber as much as possible. Um, early on, bomber doesn't have the arson, but once he gets the arson, I actually just think like you could just like use bomber without kaboom, and he might actually like. Now I'm not saying he's incredible without kaboom. Kaboom is certainly like his bread and butter. Uh, it's like what makes the skull as good as it is but I think he's usable without kaboom and in my tier list I did not give him that uh, that acknowledgement so let's see if he is though as you can see we're already missing kaboom because like I have to just run around uselessly while we wait for that to explode and even like if he's good without kaboom like don't get this twisted with kaboom it, like you still really 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 want kaboom it's very 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 good um and i mean like there's not enough varies on the planet to like to like give kaboom the acknowledgement of how good it actually is you know like with that like if we just had kaboom there we would have just been able to explode instantly and like it would have been a problem and at legendary kaboom has no skill cooldown so that's like <laughs> man that's why i really 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 want like to get the the dream run double bomber with kaboom and it, i think it's technically possible um although it's kind of hard to say um because you can dupe items with like npcs like if you find the uh the npc that um that gives you a uh, an item in a room like the guy the painting guy and the item uh, reward of that room is the same as what he gives you. You can duplicate an item doing that. So I think it is hypothetically possible to do the same with a skull. But uh, I've yet to ever do it in all of my hours playing this game. Well, for whatever that's worth. So, you know, it's a little hard. Actually, this could be an interesting combo. Ice and um, I guess technically fire. I mean, not even technically. It's going to have arson eventually. Though I, I'm not building towards either of these statuses. I don't think, at least. I might put a little bit in the arson, but I'm certainly not building towards um, freeze on this run. I'm really looking for damage percent. God damn it. Game. All right, I'll just take the succubus. Really good quintessence, but that is uh, that was a horrible shot. Just, just dreadful, really. Um... See, this is this is the problem we're gonna run into at first at the start with uh, our bomber he's useless i really shouldn't even be swapping to him at all but what can i say i'm a swap fiend i can't help myself it's a problem aha that that was shockingly a weak effect i was expecting that to be way way more uh way more flashy than it was so i guess this will also be a good test for for freeze i have the suspicion that freeze is actually decent now and I mean the Frost Skull, I meant to say. The the inscription Sub-Zero, I think, is decent now, too. Although it did get changed in 1.6.1. I don't know how much those uh, changes affected our boy here. Uh, I am, like... And this is the thing. This is something that I disagree with the wider community with. <clears throat> I don't think Free Skull is nearly as good as people say it is. And this is no offense to Beals or anything at all. Obviously, Beals is fantastic. But I think most of people's opinions on Freeze are downwind of Beals' opinion on Freeze. And Beals loves the Freeze Skull. And, you know, I don't think the Freeze Skull is as good as people think it is. Um, I don't think it's bad. I just don't think it's, like... Also, did that miss? No shot that missed. I just don't think it's as good as people think. Especially in um, 1.5. The Freeze Skull was not good in 1.5. And maybe that's a hot take. Uh, the Freeze... See, uh, the, the Frost Skull is very, very tied to the Sub-Zero inscription. And in 1.5, Sub-Zero was dog shit. Uh, it's much better now, for sure. Uh, they they did a lot to fix the defensive statuses in 1.6. But in 1.6.1, things are a little bit different. Uh, they did, it was in the patch notes, and I didn't quite understand what they were trying to say. Um, I think they made the, um, the Unstoppable thing a little stronger again. But either way, uh, I guess we're going to find out here if if that was a humongous, uh, sh uh, like, 
defining change for this skull because i did have a video recently where i used frost and very much came to the conclusion that frost is good now uh all these suck ass what the fuck what is this boss chest bro hello this is all awful literally all of it not a single thing here is good not a single thing <laughs> what the fuck dog i guess i'll take this jesus uh that was that was dreadful and we don't even have enough shards to upgrade our uh bomber so our bomber is still useless so that was whack man come on we got nothing there However, uh, you know, eh, the game's still early. We still can still uh, bring this back. Like, it's not like one bad, uh, one bad thing is like going to define this whole run. Also, see, this is this is. Uh, we need arson on this like ASAP. Uh, this is one reason why I'm uh, a little iffy on Sub Zero. Uh, you can freeze an enemy in their attack animation and like it's just way too scary to approach them and try and fix it so you know gotta be careful uh, <laughs> although like uh, uh, the changes they made in um, 1.6 like I was saying certainly helped the inscription a lot ha thank you thank you thank you uh, succubus just uh, doing some good stuff there also, I should not be risky upgrading this. I don't need to. God, that was so weak. I definitely should not be swapping out. Look, we're at eight minutes. This is this is so slow right now. Which is kind of like a characteristic of um of freeze runs. I or uh, frost skull runs. I notice um, he's just really really slow. Which doesn't necessarily translate to bad. Uh, it just means he takes a while to do the things he does. But the things he does, at least in the last time I played him, were very good. Uh, Dijen, we're not interested. Alright game, please don't fuck me over this time, I need some stuff. This is a piece of the puzzle, but it's... Oh gosh. None of this is what I'm looking for. We have to save our money, we cannot, um just refresh there there's nothing i want to sell either so hopefully this helps but um also i need to stop swapping until i upgrade this like right now it's just useless it does nothing uh it just i have swap brain what can i tell you guys i have fucking swap brain it's a it's a problem i can't stop myself from swapping all right we're done though uh once we get to the uh adventurers and i can upgrade this thing what is this pollutant flask once i can upgrade this thing it's going to be so much better uh, sadly, unless I can get enough shards to upgrade my, um, my Free Skull as well, we're just going to be able to upgrade our, uh, Bomber, and he's higher priority, because at least Free Skull does something right now. Uh, Frost Skull, or, uh, Bomber does nothing. So, we, we definitely need to upgrade him first. Also, the rapidity, the sort of acceleration, as uninvested as it is right now, is actually helping a lot, which is really fucking funny. Uh, otherwise, we're just so bad at dealing with rooms. But we are earning a lot of money on this run, I'm noticing, which is really good. Uh, but I think that's just a sign that I'm not getting offered uh, skull rooms a lot, which is not good, because I need a lot of them. <sighs> I'm just going to fucking go up here. Wait, what? I got this room this late in fucking Act 1? I did not know that this room could show up this late. I thought this was a pre-room shop, uh, a, a pre-shop room, I meant to say. I did not realize that this room could show up in, uh, after the shop in Act 1. Fucking weird, man. Just when you think you know a game, it pulls something like this out. If I had the chance, I could skip this room, but uh, I wasn't given any, uh, skulls that would allow me to do it or anything. Or quintessences, for that matter. Because there are some quints that allow it as well, but nothing, none of them showed up. Alright, so it's adventurer time. Uh, this couldn't come any quicker. I need to upgrade this bomber so it's actually useful. Uh, that was unfortunate timing on my part. I fucked up a little bit there. Uh, why am I Why am I bomber? Why do I keep doing this? Wait, I can get the both. I can get the both. And it still didn't do any damage. <laughs> I was so excited to be able to get both of them. And it still it was just nothing. How the fuck did she ult? Good lord, we are so weak right now. We need some help. Okay, you though. 
If I can bomber him, maybe. There we go. We got him. And he's dead. Good stuff, good stuff. And... God damn, what is this... What is all this bullcrap I'm being offered, dude? Please, game, give me something. Anything, please. This has to have arson on it, right? Please. <laughs> please give me arson. Alright, no kaboom, which is good. What does burn do? Amplifies next explosion. Okay, so I have to be swapping now, which is fine. Oh, whoops. I meant to risky upgrade that. But, um, so... Uh, arson only has he only has arson when he swaps, which is very interesting. So this is the ideal with a run like this, which is why we wanted the um, we really wanted the um, what are they uh, the mini bombs because now that would allow us to like spam those a lot more easily. I want to get rid of risky upgrade. I just don't think this is the run for it. Uh, I think burn and um, burn and um. And the miniature bombs are the, are the uh the abilities I want here. Wow, that uh that completely missed. Honestly, I think I might even just like skip straight past uh Frosco here and upgrade my bomber to legendary. Because he still doesn't feel very useful. Like the arson isn't doing enough, but also our damage is low, so that could have something to do with it. The only good thing about burn and risky upgrade is I can like further amplify my uh, explosion and like make my explosion really pop off. But we just need we need a way to deal with rooms on this run. And we don't have that right now. <laughs> I do think this was a run request actually. Bomber without uh without kaboom. So I guess I'm also getting a, a run request out of the way here. Someone also requested a uh magic rider run but i want to give that the focus of the episode i don't want to make that a side thing so i'm just going to leave that there this is this would be good but bomber can't use um he cannot use his basics so it's kind of useless but the inscriptions are good i guess i'll just this could also be kind of good low key which is really funny um mostly for the dashes Are we going split here? Um, I think I'll buy it and then just kind of feel the run out as I keep going. Uh, but like the basic attack aspect of a uh, of um Evil Sword Kyrian on this run is not the thing I'm actually looking for mostly, which is kind of weird to say. Um, this is more so about uh, God damn it, <laughs> it's actually really hard to use bomber without kaboom. Uh, this is not something I'm used to doing, so it might just be me having some growing problems, but like I keep uh, Expecting to be able to run over and explode whenever I want and keep just forgetting that that's not a thing on this run Let's free these guys. Oh my god. Oh my god This is this sucks <laughs> So far I gotta say not a fan <laughs> At all <laughs> It's just, it's too hard. Like, Bomber, not having an explosion on command is awful. I need the mini bombs, man. That is, I think that's just what I need here. Is the mini bombs would just help so much. Give me a good unique, please, game. And also, like, the arson just ain't doing what I want it to do. Which is kind of the worst part about it. Oh, that's a bit... We're going to risky upgrade the hell out of this. Okay, let's get them. There we go. There, there was a good explosion. Now I feel a little bit better. That, I don't even... That probably would have done a fuckload of damage to, like, even the Liana sisters. Like, that was, like, a triple risky upgrade and, like, triple burn. Kind of want to see what that would do to a, uh... To a boss. At least before I swap off of it, which is, like... I want to swap off of it, but I also kind of want to see what it would do to a boss, too, so... Actually, we probably had way more than three uh, burns there. Also, now they're separated, so I can't hit both of them. Also, how did that miss? How did that miss? Explain to me how that missed. Come on, game, please. I'm getting tilted, baby. It's tilt time. How are we not finding any skulls?
Like, where are all the skull runes? Like, we are very, very, very far behind in our uh, bone shard counts here. So, I guess I have a decision to make. Am I committing to the uh, to the ice skull? So, I, I can upgrade the frost skull here if I choose to. But at the same time, I don't know. I feel like this run... Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I think I need to upgrade this because um, I keep complaining that... Um, my my uh my bomber isn't doing enough and then i'm like am i going to hold off until i have enough shards to upgrade my bomber it's like no that's that's a terrible idea all right so let's see what this does to the honest sisters don't blow up god damn it risky upgrade is just it's so risky who'd have thought like like it's not like it warns you all right so we want to hit one of the honest sisters here there we go, baby. And that did not do nearly as much as I thought it would. But we also don't have damage percent on this run. Like, we haven't gotten it. We've just been very unlucky. Alright, so we're going to instantly hit the absolute shit out of this Leona sister here. Did we hit her? I think maybe we were too early. Which is kind of annoying. Um... It's one of the problems with uh, with Bomber without Kaboom, is you have, like, no control. I just need mini-bombs, man. That's what I'm looking for. I'm holding out for the mini-bombs. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. That did a lot. That did a lot. Hit her with the uh, Succubus, and I guess we'll kill her with this. Uh, the acceleration sword did her in, which is really fucking funny. Uh, I, I am not keeping this acceleration sword, but the amount of work it's done on this run is hilarious. Because it should not be, like, doing as much as it is. Alright, what do we got? Uh, pretty good stuff. At least if I was on a basic attack focused run, which this is not supposed to be. Game, please. Treasure clone stamp is interesting, but stupid, so we're not going to take it. We're still not being offered, like, damage percent. That's the problem. Like, yeah, I can go to Rapidity 4, which is hilarious, and I will. But, um, it's just not what we're looking for. We're swapping off of this as soon as we can. I just, I don't understand where all of the uh, resources are in this game. Like, just give me something, anything. Skull rooms, please. Like... Come on, what is this? Charge to deal magic? What is this? Oh. Oh, that that's that's like... Okay, for one, I, I guess this shows how little I've played Frost Skull since they changed him. I've never seen this. Or at least I haven't seen it in a long, long time, and I don't remember it. But, um... Um... So, this reminds me of the, uh, the Dead Cell skill. Uh, the one that, like, you charge forwards and backwards. Can you do that with this? No. Maybe at Legendary. Because they, they do literally have that, that skill from Dead Cells in this game already on King. So, I guess, uh, <laughs> put it on Frost 2. Who cares? Seems pretty good. Kind of a... I don't know. I'm into it. Maybe it'll be, like, really good. Okay, so we're not going to risky upgrade this. I'm just going to blow up. And there's the Harpy, which, holy shit. Also, there's the shop, which, uh, that, that sucks. Um, that means we low-rolled our doors for Act 3, which, yikes. Uh, not good. But at least we're going to be out of here quicker, I guess. We're pretty late into the run for where <laughs> we are not far into the run for how late we are into this run. There's some damage percent. Finally, we're finding something. Oh my god. Shops, please! What is this? Stick my leg? I mean, we are doing some dash things here. I can get rid of this. Where am I at now? I can get rid of this. I can get rid of... But that gets rid of my rapidity, which is hilarious. But we, we do need to get off the rapidity eventually. Let's just get stigma leg. That probably wasn't worth it, and you're probably like like question marking right now. But um, 
Like, I'm, I'm desperate for, for magic stuff on this run. And also, Stigma Leg ain't bad, for the record. Stigma Leg is, like, a very decent item. Um, also, Stigma Balls. I just had to say that. I had to get that one out there. Uh, just, uh, it, it, to me, that's comedy gold. Uh, and I know I'm a fucking idiot, but, like, that's fucking funny, okay? That's just some classic stuff. And we still have so much attack speed, it's ridiculous. That we're not even using on one of our skulls. Which is why we need to get off of this rapidity. It's not helping. <laughs> is this a... A money room? I kind of hope it is. Like, I, this would be the only time I don't want a skull room. And it's a skull room. Well, that sucks. That sucks. We cannot get this. 480. I could sell something, but like, all of this stuff I want. Like, literally all of this. So, we're just going to leave it. Uh, I'm not going to forget to break these ghosts open, by the way. Uh, we're going to miss him. Had to explode on a fucking ghost. That's where we're at on this run. I had to blow up a ghost with, uh, with the bombs. And uh, hopefully we find an ability swap NPC soon, because I really do need one. Like... To make this run really work the way I'm, uh, I'm building towards, we need the uh, miniature bombs. And I do like so the thing, the problem with the ability swap NPC is I have to simultaneously get the um, the ability I want and dodge the ability I don't want. So, fairy tale and brawl. What is this? Wait, I shouldn't even pick this up because it prevents other princes box from showing up, and I could get a better one. So yeah, we shouldn't even have that. God, what is this run right now, dude? Please, game. Give me something. Anything. Like, literally anything. I'm not asking for a lot here. I'm going to go down here in min-max. I want to kill as many enemies as possible. Just so I can uh, get my uh, Kyrian up. Which I'm hoping will do some decent stuff. Uh, but I'm not holding my breath. This run's just really, really fucking weird right now. Like, I'm relying on a Kyrian which is a physical item on a bomber run where I need magic damage and I need a lot of it too because we're not even using the usual bomber strats. We're using weird bomber strats. So we need even more damage to make up for the lack of kaboom. It's just, uh, things are going weird right now, to say the least. Um, but I'm having, I have a feeling the, uh, the adventurers are up next. Just a guess, which, I mean, a, a fair guess. I think even most players would guess that the adventurers are next. And they are. So, um, hopefully that goes well. But we are actually a little low. Which I think is a, a sign of, like, the bomber strat we're on. Because, like, I'm very vulnerable while I'm uh, waiting for my kaboom to go off. Like, I'm... So maybe low-key, this, this actually does suck. You know? It might. Um, oh! Oh god. I am not losing my life on the adventurers here. You know how long it's been since I lost my life on the Act 3 adventurers? Not today. No, sir. Not today. Sorry, I was in a little bit of concentration mode there. So I'm probably just not going to switch out the bomber. Please die. Yeah, this run is a challenging game. It's very strange. It's not a run I expected to be a challenge, but here I am. God damn it, Suanisio. I can't take it, and I can't take this Diorite Circulate either. I need the Bone Shards. Oh my god, game! Please give me something. I'm starting to get tilted. I'm getting tilted, baby. It's tilt time. If Just imagine if I don't get a single other Skull Room before we get out of Act 3. <laughs> it could happen. Skull the Hero Slayer is just so mean sometimes. It just, like, please, just give me something, anything. Like, like I've, I've gone this whole run with nothing, and I'm just getting fucked for it. And I'm doing this weird strategy that's, like, outside of the box, and, you know, you should be rewarding outside of the box thinking, Skull the Hero Slayer. You know how many players just choose Gunpowder Sword every time they see it? You know how many players don't ever experiment in Skull? You should reward experimentation. Also, I'm applying stigma leg to freaking explosive barrels. I didn't even know that was a thing that you could do. I guess that means you can apply it to like doors too, which is really funny. 
At least the doors don't fight back anymore like they did at the start of 1.5. That was, that was a weird time. Um, let's go ahead and knock these out. I honestly don't even want to swap to uh to bomber until I get into legendary. Like I I really don't want to. Like I feel like that's the reason I'm having so much trouble. Uh, let's go ahead and break this shrine. Cause it's not like you know this is a pretty standard frost skull uh, run. Like there's nothing weird about this. It could also be because I'm not investing into my uh my um. What am I trying to say here? I'm not investing into my arson, too. And that's, like, the offensive aspect of uh, of this passive uh, bomber run. So that could also be just a mistake I'm making here. And we have enough money to make this shop good. So I'm not worried about... Uh... Oh, shit. Are we going to get... Uh, we should get our... Uh... We should definitely get our um, Arcyria in here. Which is really good. Uh... A very welcome thing on this run here. Let's go ahead and summon this guy in. Which is not normally something you have to do, but I'm doing it here because I want to. Do we how do we not have it yet? Where is it? Where is my Kyrian? Hello? I'm not Oh shit, wait. <laughs> what was that? Why did I think I was at 300? <laughs> uh hello? <laughs> uh da doi. Uh I guess I'm just fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I guess my brain just perceived it as we were closer than we were. Uh, maybe that was copium, you know? That was like a classic copium moment where I just like desperately wanted it to be activated. Oh, what is this? Gambler? I don't think so. I think I'd much rather have his bone shards at, on this run. Mm. Just give me... Please, game. Please, please give me something decent. Please. Oh no. What is happening? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Where's all the stuff? Where's all the stuff? Where's all the artifact? Like, I don't even have an artifact on this run right now. I'm like, what is happening with my shops today? <laughs> please, slime, help me, please. Uh, I'll, I'll sell the stigma leg. I think that's worth selling. Um, it's not doing anything. <laughs> um, but remember when I sold all of my stuff to get the stick? Oh god! Remember when I sold all of my stuff to get the stigma leg? Oh no. Please, game. I'm done using risky upgrade, by the way. I don't think it's a good ability. Especially in rooms. It's so trash in rooms. And I just keep using it. Even though, like, my, in my head, I'm like, why am I using this? Like, it, it's not helping. Just, uh, for, uh, for some reason, I thought this was the ability in PC. Oh, shit, I didn't sell Stigma Leg. Please do not duplicate Stigma Leg. Please don't punish me, please. Okay. That's not Stigma Leg. Look, we have Wisdom 4 with no amplification. Like, we have no damage to amplify. Because <laughs> we don't have t uh, uh, artifact or anything, for that matter. We have nothing. I, I am just stunned at this run right now. Like, straight up. Come on, burn. <laughs> Get arsoned. Um, was the, uh, no, Chimera is not next, which is good. What happened to the first half of this act? It feels like the, the first door we went in for act three was, like, instant. And then the rest of it was, um, was, uh... Like, we high-rolled our uh, door count. I'm very, 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 uh... Like, I don't know. I feel like I still have so much to learn about how Skull the Hero Slayer works in terms of its, um... The way it, um... It handles door counts. May... I don't know. I, maybe... Like, like this is something that I'm just kind of spitballing here. Um... Because I always talk about how at the end of Act 4, if you high-rolled your doors on the way... In Act 4 Part 2, if you high-rolled your doors on the way to the next shop... Um, you will only get two doors after you get into the, uh, to, uh, as you're going to Joan. Also, I'm going to free the halfling here, which is very bad, but, uh, I need the HP. But, um, what if that also is a thing at the start of Act 3? I don't know. Um, it's so hard to figure these things out because Skull the Hero Slayer is such a weird game. Uh, that's everything in here. 
All right, so it's Chimera time. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, I think we'll be just fine, but uh, I I popped the halfling there for a reason. Like, uh, I was worried about my health count. Which isn't a good sign, going into Chimera. Uh, but we can... Uh, uh, maybe I was worried about nothing. Because I can just... Um, uh, Succubus are there, so now I'm not taking any damage. Oh, we already blew up? I, w I guess I forgot to push Risky Upgrade. Alright, so please jump in the air. Thank you. And, okay, we Risky Upgraded again. Uh, this is going to do a lot of damage. Okay, not even close to as much as I thought, though. Like, Because I, I, I burned that I don't know how many times... And Risky upgraded it twice. I thought that would obliterate the Chimera, but it didn't. Our magic damage is just not good. Okay. That could have gone worse. It could have gone better. I don't think we needed the Halfling at the end of the day, but it was still the safe play to make. Please, boss chest, please give me something. Please. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Troll, I suppose? No, I don't want Troll. I want Succubus. What the fuck? I'm tilted now. I'm officially in the tilt zone. What is this nonsense? <laughs> Low key, I'm looking at this Spirit Salamander in favor of like Jenny's chain. That's where we're at right now. Good. We don't even have like Elementalist Blessing. I've passed it up a million times. I I don't even know what to say, man. This run is being so mean. It's being so mean. Straight up, this is the meanest run I've seen in a while. Is this still swap? Appears with an explosion. Also increases movement. Um, I guess. Well, actually, what am I saying? Um, uh, bomber is just a swap skull in general, so I guess it it being attached to swap just means like it's attached to it entirely, like it's always attached to it. But either way, um, I don't know. Hopefully, the arson starts picking up because uh. And this could just be my fault for not building into arson, but the arson aspect of um, of this skull right now is just not impressing me. Okay, just keep going. Uh, I risky upgraded this. I don't know why I did. We, okay, well, oh, that go see now the explosion on um, on bomber is really really big, so. At least we have that now. That is going to be good. That is going to be helpful for the rest of the run. But um, not having Kaboom is just like like I'm seeing it now. It's just, and I, I kind of knew this all along, even though I did have my uh, my suspicions going into this episode that perhaps uh, maybe it could work without it. But uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe maybe it still can't. Maybe Bomber still sucks without it. Uh, though maybe you also need miniature bombs. I don't know. Uh, which I'm still trying to get. Uh, the game is just being very, very rude and not giving me really anything on this run. Like, this is a very nasty Skull the Hero Slayer run. It's being... The game is bearing its teeth right now. At least we have this now, which is something I've been trying to get for this entire run. What is that? Did you see that down there? I have never paid any attention to... Uh, to the having when I have the bomber out, I've never paid attention to his buffs, but it was literally just like the bomber's face. Yeah, what is this? That's so weird looking. Most of the uh, most of the buffs in this game aren't like that. Most of them are like like fancy, like artistic representations of what you're doing. But that's literally just like the bomber's face. That is so weird. Okay, see, now we're starting to do some things, but we're also taking a lot of damage, which is not good. We don't want to be taking a lot of damage in Skull, obviously. But I do think the Kyrian was actually, like, a decent pickup. Now we just need, like, um... Excuse me, by the way. Now we need, um... I would say, uh, Pot of Greed would be nice. That would certainly help a lot. Uh, it's too little, too late. Come on. What is the what are these shops? I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Am I really about to take this? I guess. 
God damn, this game is being so fucking mean to me. Give me, like, some decent artifact items, man. Like, just anything. Like, literally anything even a halfway decent I will take. And I will smile, too. I will sm I will take it and I will smile. That's that's how much I want this. At least now we're doing damage, though. Maybe we should have stuck with the Rapidity Sword, man. The Acceleration Sword, that was when this run was popping off. It's all been downhill since then. And the game is just driving me crazy right now. Ah, oh, I missed with the Succubus entirely. Risky upgrade? No. I was trying to hold on to that, but it didn't work. Why am I still risky upgrading, by the way? I keep telling myself I shouldn't be doing it. And then I just do it anyway. I'm just... <laughs> God damn, I have the memory of a goldfish, apparently. Yeah, we'll, we'll not do it here. Boom, baby! It's good without it in rooms. But we just need uh, miniature bombs, man. If we can just get miniature bombs and burn on this run, we'll be popping off, baby. We'll be popping off so hard. Uh, one more skull room would be nice if the game wouldn't mind. Also, stop giving me trash. Stop giving me trash, game. It's not hard. Normally, the game is very kind to uh, with its RNG. You know, maybe I'm just being like, maybe this is just like me getting what I what I'm owed because I have so many like god runs. Oh my god, I risky upgraded. What is wrong with me? I I get, it was just like I just pressed the button without even thinking about it. That's that skill is just like bad. I just need to get rid of it on this run. I need to maintain my uh, my mana tech staff, so I'm going to uh, pause the game here in between screen transitions. If only we had bought the uh, the Manatech Cog that uh, I passed a million times. I just didn't think it would be useful on this run, but uh, we would have Manatech right now, and that would be pretty useful. So, ideally, we uh, this goes well, but I'm worried about this. I'm going to blow up here. There we go. Not going to force... Oh, she's unstoppable. Oh, you're unstoppable? Is that it, huh? You're unstoppable? You think you're cool now? Okay, so risky upgrade. Ah, ah, we just got obliterated by that. Is she ulting? No. Oh, uh, she's about to ult. Oh shit, is she not gonna ult? Holy shit, she didn't ult, what the fuck? Yo, that was sick. Damn, okay, okay. That was actually pretty good. Oh my god, I still didn't get enough. Oh, I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna take this. Um, I think we need to get off this pain and despair. As Mimi as it is, I don't need it. Weird a uh, decision, I know. Like, maybe I could have gotten rid of the fire salamander. But, um, I don't know. I felt like that was the right decision. Because, like, we're not basic attacking on one of our skulls. And we're not really basic attacking on our other skull that much either. Just doesn't make sense to hold on to it. Even though it's funny and meme -y. I could really use some more arson. If I can find cursed live embers, I'm definitely taking that. Ugh. Why is this game doing this to me? Also, give me a skull room. I swear to God, if I don't get a skull room before we get out of... Act oh, okay, there's an ability change in PC. Too little, too late, I would say, but... At least we'll have it for the last half of the game. Hopefully. I have a lot of money to work with here, so. So at least in the last half of this run, it seems to be coming together a little bit. But I do have to say, the amount of frustration that this run has brought me, not necessarily all Arson Bomber's fault. Or, uh, yeah, I guess I can call it that. Not all the uh, non-Kaboom's uh, Bomber's fault. Also, just the RNG of the run. Like, I cannot recommend a Bomber without Arson. <laughs> as it currently stands. We'll see how the run finishes up, but... This was low-key a nightmare. Very uh, unfortunate circumstances on this run. 
But I do think the Kyrian was like a good call on my part. Not a call I think most people would make. But I just thought it would be a good idea because of the way we were playing the bomber. Alright, give me miniature bombs and burn. What is that? Risky upgrade? Miniature bombs? No. Kaboom. We have to get rid of that. Please let me swap. Kaboom and miniature bombs? Please. That's not even like a good combo. Oh no. <laughs> have I fucked myself here? I should have just taken the fucking thing I got before. Okay, we can sell this. And I think do one more. Fuck it. We're right back to where we started. But now our final shop is useless. <laughs> Completely useless. Like, we can't do anything there. Which, I guess that's on me. Uh, actually, risky upgrade is just bad with miniature bombs. Just straight up. It's just bad. Like, it's anti-synergy. Because with miniature bombs, you want them to blow up quickly. Uh, and... Like, the longer you're out, obviously, the, the... Oh my god, please, game. Please don't fuck me here. Just give me... Please be the guy who sells you... Okay, it is. Ooh. We're not past the shop yet, but um, anything can happen in this game. You, I'm only going to get two doors after we pass this shop. So I could have actually gotten fucked here and not been able to... Um, uh get my legendary uh frost skull which would have been like just the the shit on the shit sandwich you know they hand you a sandwich and tell you it's not a shit sandwich and you just take a big big bite expecting delicious goodness and it's just a mouthful of shit that's what this run would have been without uh, the legendary uh, uh frost skull and also hilariously enough here at the end of the run i actually think that um the uh, the miniature bombs aren't even good. <laughs> also, dickhead legendary. Oh my god, this this run is testing my patience. This run is at. Oh, okay, never mind. Never fucking mind. Holy shit. Um, what does this have on it? Heirloom and arson. Where's my other heirloom? Do I not have it anymore? So we're getting our heirloom back, which is good. What is arson two? Mm. I'll I'll just get rid of the fire salamander, which is now a uh, gray, by the way. A weird little glitch that happens if you uh you if you toss an item on the ground that you picked up from one of the boss reward chests on 1.6 that they didn't fix in 1.6.1. God, Southpaw does not read the bug reports. <laughs> I I'm calling it now. They don't read it. <laughs> There's just so many glitches that haven't been fixed. They don't read it. <laughs> They fixed like a bunch of. No, at least they fixed um, the uh, the masterpiece clone stamp one with uh, Argent Moon and Crimson Sword. I think that's what they're called. I still don't know what they're called because I still haven't gotten them. Shockingly enough, it just hasn't happened yet. God, this is a 37 minute run, and we're not even to Joan yet. This is like the slowest run of all time. I think we're, we could actually end up in the Guinness Book of World Records for the world's slowest run. That isn't a shield run with like that stipulant. We're in it, baby. You know, some people do spend their whole life trying to get into the Book of World Records. All we had to do was be bad at Skull the Hero Slayer. Who'd have thought? Okay, now that we have Cursed Live Embers, uh, our arson is popping off. But it's like, <laughs> it took the whole fucking run. Oh, God. Skull is just mean today, man. Man, I wish I had burned so badly. It would be so much better. Look at our rooms now, though. Our rooms are just, like, crazy now. What is our damage percent? 438? That's not even, like, that bad. So it kind of came together at the end. A little bit. And maybe that's just me being, like, just ODing, like, harder than I ever have on Copium. But, like, I still... Do not recommend. Uh, as it stands, I have to see how this performs against Joan. 
I don't recommend uh, Kaboomless Bomber. Which just kind of goes to show that they should tie Kaboom permanently to the skull. Like, that would make this skull so much better. Uh, kind of like Rider's bike skill, you know? Like, if Rider's allowed to have his bike always attached to him, then why can't Bomber have Kaboom always attached to him? You gotta ask yourself the questions here. Alright, so it's drone time. Um, not really worried about her. But uh, she could pull out some surprises here. Let's see how she does. Alrighty. So, I say I'm not worried about her. I probably should be more worried than I am. Because we're like at half HP almost. And uh, Joan can be tricky, obviously. She's, in my opinion, the hardest boss in the game. Uh, but, you know, maybe this is just my experience talking. And overconfidence, maybe even... Like, I will cop to that. Let's risk Let's risky. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention to her animations. Rookie mistake, by the way. Always watch Jones' animations. Uh, I need to follow my own advice I'm always giving people. Also, that did nothing. God, risky explosion blows, dude. Why is this even a thing? It does nothing. Risky upgrade, I meant. God, it sucks. It, like, that did nothing. We're still on our own right now against this Joan. I'm just not even going to do it. Like, it's just not worth it. For the amount of time you're, like, stuck dodging and, like, trying to survive as Bomber with, like, no defense at all. Like, you can't even, like, use your basics. It's just bad. Like, it just straight up is bad. That's my verdict on fucking risky upgrade. <laughs> just worthless. Also, uh, see, I'm defenseless against these assholes. Like, there's literally nothing I can do. Gonna put some minis over here. The only thing it's good for is like maybe putting down minis where you wouldn't have been able to put them before. Which is that even good? I don't. I I I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try and keep our uh, mana tech here. Place down some minis. She is kind of staying in the area, which is good. Okay, good. All right, we're gonna get her here. I think. Nope, we missed her completely. I think. Oh my god, Joan, you're such a fucking jerk. Oh, ow. Okay, let's let's respect her a little bit here. We're clearly not obliterating her, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Though expected, if I'm being honest. I was not expecting this to be a blowout. Just freeze, Joan. I am fucking risking it for the biscuit there. She is unstoppable there. Okay. We should have her from here fairly easily. This is annoying, though. Okay, well, risky upgrade. Preserve it. All right, Joan, just don't run to a corner. I'm going to try and get her one fell swoop here. Oh, she's dead. Okay. Good. Though, once again, risky upgrade just, like, was unnecessary. God, it's so bad. Why don't I keep using it after, like, dissing it? Uh, this, this shit sucks. <laughs> Which, hey, you know, at least the run's thematic. Everything sucks. Um, though this is better, I would say, than Salamander, so I guess I'll take it. Oh, wait, I got rid of my Salamander. This does have Artifact on it, so let's take this instead of that. But, like, God, that, that was not what I wanted to see there. And we have to remember to upgrade our Frost Skull. I'm not going to forget like I did in that Alchemist run. We, uh, we got the Dickhead Legendary and uh, got ourselves to Legendary, which, you know... Dick had legendary, but it, you know, whatever. The, the, I, I can't, like, what else would this run have been without it, you know? Like, that's, that's just like the, the shit atop the sandwich, like I said. So, um, I don't think we're gonna lose this run at all or anything. Like, you, wait, why is it taking so long to blow up? Did I accidentally press whiskey upgrade without thinking about it? I might have. Oh shit, we got this ability. This ability is fun. Uh, I didn't recognize that this would be this ability at Legendary. But this ability is, like, really, really fun. Um, you can do some really cool things with it. Uh, Earl showed it off in a video. I think he was using Mummy. And, like, the AK with Mummy. Very, very fun stuff. But uh, we can't do that on this run. So, you know, we could just, like, think about how... <laughs> we could think about how sick that would be. I think if I buy this, I can take it to the first hero. Yeah, I can. Crit rate by 15%. So let's keep that in mind. If there's nothing we get that's better than that. What is this? Wow. The shop just had to be crappy until the end, huh? <laughs> this is our kit. 
Um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front. Not, not too good. Also, uh, my laptop is not being kind. There we go. It took a screen, it took three screenshots actually. Good job. And it only took you uh, like 10 seconds. Um, so this kit could be better, but we did get the cursed live embers. Uh, the Kyrian is like a, a funny pickup. I was really just hoping that like the game would take pity on me and give me the, uh, give me a, um, uh, pot of greed at the end, but it didn't. The pot of greed would make this run really pop, uh, in a way that it isn't. Cause then our Kyrian would be doing more and we would also be doing more with our like focused damage type, which would just be sick. But alas, uh, we'll still win though. But this is this is like a, a crash course in Skull the Hero Slayer just being a dickhead. You know, this is just like when the game just like is in a bad mood and it just it will do anything to fuck you up. But we're still fine. Uh, I would say all in all, the run was still fun. Uh, actually, I should be saying this after I win, like. I don't want to put the cart in front of the horse here. It's like, I'm so good at this game and the game is just like, I don't know. The game definitely has gotten easier over time, but I'm still just like, it's hard for me to lose at this point unless I like put myself in a challenge run, which I do think I should do one soon. We've had it too easy as of late, but um, let's see how the first hero goes, but uh, I'm not worried about it. We're at full HP. We have like a buff. It's, it's going to go well. All right, Mr. First Hero. Uh, hopefully, uh, this at least can show off a little bit, like, the potential that, like, I, I don't, I don't even want to say we low rolled this run. I just think that this is, like, not a viable strategy, and, like, I've been told that it's, like, okay. One thing I will say, though, um, I, I am a big, uh, I think Frost Skull is, uh, not as bad as he used to be. Like, I do think that. Like, I think, uh, he's just, like, like... 1.6 fixed the frost skull. I want to say that, like, as 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 awkward as as arson bomb or like non uh, non uh, kaboom bomber has been on this run. I do think frost skull has been a joy on this run. Like straight up, and also we're doing okay damage. Like the damage is fine. It's nothing to write home about, but like it's nothing like bad or anything. Oh shit, I did not realize I was over there. Alright, let's not risky upgrade this. Let's just blow him up. Alright, good stuff. Uh, first hero is... Like, really, like, and I stand by this. And I know there are people who don't agree with me. I've had conversations about it. Um, Joan is harder than the first hero. Like, straight up. <laughs> like, the first hero is nothing, really. Like, he's just... He's so easy these days. But really, like... Like I was saying, like, if you know what you're doing in this game, it's kind of hard to lose, at least at this stage of the game's existence. Um, like, I'm really holding out for hard mode, man. I want, I want this game to kick my ass, at least a little bit, you know? I don't want it to be, like, frustratingly difficult, for the wrong reasons especially, but I just... I remember when I was new to this game, and I, I struggled every run to kill the first hero. I miss those days. Those were the good old days. Uh, let's just fucking blow them up here. Oh, yeah. Damn, Frost Skull is just good now. Like, straight up. Frost Skull is good, man. Like, it took a while to get him there. Uh, I still don't think he's as good as people think he is. Like, I said at the start of the video that, like, I think the opinion of uh, Frost Skull is run down from Beals, which wasn't an insult, by the way. I hope people didn't take it that way. Uh, Beals is entitled to his own opinions. I just don't think Free Skull is as good as people think he is. But he is not bad, especially in 1.6 after they fixed Sub-Zero. Uh, he can do a lot. But this run is like mediocre in every sense of the word, and he's still v performing very, very well. So, good for the fr uh, Frost Skull. He's finally where he needs to be. And he is uh, not bad at all. So, GG's. Uh, we got through it. Uh, was a weird run, but we got through it, you know? Like, at the end of the day, we did it, and that's what matters. Uh, how do I pick this windscreen? Uh, I think I, the only way I can do it is like a... I, oh, I did it! I did it! Yes! Oh, dude, I'm I'm not washed anymore. It's official. I'm not washed anymore. It happened, baby. I, 
I got it down again. I figured it out. Though <laughs> we're, we're in a good streak right now, but I know eventually I'm going to get fucking washed again. What I really need to do here to make this windscreen pop is uh, summon Succubus at the same time as I press this. It's like really hard to do, but you can get her into the windscreen as well. And she was an absolute gem on this run, so fucking thank God for Succubus. She's so fucking good. Just an excellent quintessence. And just like, I was offered the troll and I didn't take it for a reason because I was worried about the defensive capabilities of this run. And she definitely came through in the end. Uh, GG's. Uh, I, I think if only we had had this the whole time. This is actually a really good arson item. And obviously Curse Live Embers are great too. Um, but like, God, dude. Bomber just needs, he needs Kaboom. Just so badly. Like, it just, it's so integral to the skull. Just devs, they don't read the fucking bug report, so they're not going to hear this. If I could just, like, catch the devs' ear for, like, five minutes, I would tell them, add a codex to the game that has enemy stats in it, and also, like, all of the items and everything. Um, uh, what else? Uh, uh, which tree we work, we need rich traits rework. We need that to be better. It's so bare bones at the moment. It just needs to be fixed. And give Bomber Kaboom always. Always give him Kaboom. And then he would just be so much better. So much better. Oh my god, Bomber would be like an S tier skull if he could just always have Kaboom. And um, Frost Skull, good now. Straight up, just good. Actually, very good. I will, I'll even go as far as to say that. Frost Skull is now in a good spot. He's not S tier, by the way. He's not top tier. I will never, ever admit that. He's just not. He doesn't do the damage that he needs to do to be like hanging out with the top of them. But he is high tier. For sure. Uh, uh, Frost Skull is a good skull. And um, as far as the items go on this run, God, it was a nightmare to get there. And we did eventually get a pretty decent build, but this is still like duct taped together at the end of the day. This is like not the, this is not what I would build if I could actually like select the items I want here. I would select this and this. Um, I think if I could choose again, I would still take this potentially, but I would not pick any of this except for this actually. I wanted mana, bone of mana. I mean, I wanted that. Didn't get it. I wanted um just like some good artifact items. This is a good artifact item. This is a this is a good artifact item. But we got this at the last second. I wouldn't have this. I wouldn't have this. And I probably wouldn't have these. Although maybe one of these, but not two of these. Either way, though, the run was still fun and GG's. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um. I'm not doing this again for a long time. I might eventually come back around to uh, no Kaboom Bomber, but no, it, it's going to be a while. 47 minutes, no thank you. Yeah, not good. Uh, <laughs> and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.